Now the next is your control statement in R. Okay, this control statement we have different control statement as you all know. Like we'll start with if else. If else is just working, just like uh, your uh, C C plus plus or Java uh, programming. How it is working? Uh, almost in the same way it is working. If and else statement. But there is uh, one short of difference there uh, that I'll show you. There are different control statement, if, if, else, for loop, nested loop, while loop, repeated and break statement, written statement, next statement. So there are many other statements are, are there in the control statement of R. So let's say if we'll um, provide the if statement. So if statement is very simple statement where we try to find out some condition if the condition satisfy then only whatever is the is there in the inside will be executed so here you can see it says that x value is 100 x is greater than 10 yes then it is going to print is x it is going to print is greater than 10 in that way it is going to print so if we'll run it it will print like 100 is greater than 10. Now that is fine. Now, if I want to put else part, let's say if something is there in the input, but it is not greater than 10, then if it is, uh, let's say like that, so definitely it will come in the else part. So else will write just after we are, we are finishing the if statement. So if I'll put like this, then it will be a problem. See, it is unexpected token else. It will not take like this. So remember, if I'm using if else, it will be like this. Now it is working, right? And it is, is going to work. So here the else part, it is going to work. 10 is not greater than, because we have uh, put it the condition 101. So 100 is not greater than 101, right? I'll put it two. So if is going to work because the condition is satisfied. 102 is greater than 101. 102 is greater than 101. This is how your uh, if statement is. This is not correct. It will give you error or exception. Error is, is giving you. So remember this. Now, if you want to put L, else if is nested, you can do like this. Right. So else if we can use is like this, and at last we can write else and we can print something. Now here we have written two conditions, which is definitely as going to satisfy but uh, if it is there is yeah so if else is going to work like this so definitely if it is 101 so first if condition is satisfying if it is less than that let's say we'll make it 100 so this is going to uh, execute the second if else 100 is less than 101 but if i'll say 101 then else part is going to be executed. 101 is equal to 101, like this. So this is your else, is else uh, if else statement. It is very simple way of uh, learning it. About the uh, nested if also I told you. Then there is a for loop. For loop is uh, 
is just similar to what we are using in R. Okay, this for loop, the syntax of the for loop is similar to what we are sorry using in Python. So Python and in the R, the for loop uh, are almost the same. Now here, if you'll see, there is a, uh, there is a data set called letters. If you want to see this data set, you can see it. This is a data set. Here we have the value from A to Z, right? A to Z, all are in the small letter. Okay. So this is the data set which is already there in your base package. So this is there in the base, base package. Letters is there in the base package, as you can see. Letters is also there, which is uh, having all uh, A to Z value in the capital letter. So that letter we are taking and we are taking the value from four to 10, four to 10 means this four D to J, D to J. And we are printing the value from I in X. So is starting the value is I, I is pointing to the fourth, the first character, which is there in four, which is D. And it will go up to, up to what last is, last is your J. So four to 10, it is taking I to D to J it is taking and it is printing it. So let's run this. See D to J it is printing, right? It is taking the value from a uh, particular. Now, if you don't want to do that, you just write it like this. There is a value from one to 10 and then it is going to print the value from one to 10. See, it is going to print the value from one to 10. So here I have created a vector with one up to 10. Or if you want to give some uh, steps, you can give it. So I want to step at a time. Uh, wait a minute. No, 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 it is not going to work here. Here it will be, let's see. It's giving the exception. Okay, so this is your for loop. Uh, so I is pointing to the first one, and it is it is increasing its uh, uh, its uh, counter one by one, and it is taking the data from X, and it is printing the value of I. So this is the for loop. Okay, then uh, we can uh, do for loop. For, for loop uh, inside another for loop, we can make an uh, a nested uh, loop, for loop inside another for loop. While loop is also there, All right? We know that there is a condition that to be uh, that need to be if it is satisfying when we are going out. Otherwise, uh, sorry, if it is satisfied, we are going in. If it is not satisfied, we are going out. So it is saying that x should be less than or equal to five if it is x is six then we have to get out from that particular loop so up to one and one to five it is going to print uh, and uh, if it is coming six then it is going out so this is your while loop then there is a repeat uh, is also there in repeat we doesn't have any condition see in repeat, we doesn't have any condition. Instead, we have a break. So if this condition will be there, if X is greater than five, then we have to break, right? So this repeat is also a control loop. It is taking the value starting from one. It is, it is adding all the time and it is comparing the value X with the five. If X is greater than five, then we have to break. So because right now, the value of five a value of x is six. That's why it has been come out from the loop. There are different return ex expressions. If we are in the loop and uh, we are uh, saying that something has to be written, then return function has to be written as to, has to be right. And then there's a next uh, statement. This next statement is uh, not going to break anything, but what if it is coming, we are still in the room loop, but 
whatever it is, it is there afterwards, it is not going to print. So print a statement is not going to work in the next, it will again come to the loop. So here you will see, we are looking for the even number. If it is even number, uh, sorry, odd number. If it is odd number is not going to print. If it is an even number, then it is going to print. So if it is even number, it is going to print. If it is odd number, we are going to the next. Next means again, for loop will be executed and the I value will be increased by one. 